Boykin and Hofer will be the running backs, and there's uh, some fans' nifty artwork representing that fearsome foursome of the Detroit Lions. Doug English wearing the cowboy hat. That's good. He came from the University of Texas. Freddie Solomon is the quarterback. Solomon and uh, intended for Hofer, running back coming out of the backfield. Looked like a, a screen set up there. They had a couple of blockers up ahead of him, but Solomon couldn't get it to him. Defensive lineman that time did not take Solomon's action because he just dropped seven yards and then threw the screen rather than setting up, making it look like a pass downfield and drawing the defensive lineman to him. Second and ten. Freddie Solomon, number 88. The wide receiver is at quarterback. Harrison and Schumann are his wide receivers now. Greg Boykin. Boykin breaks away from a tackle, running hard, still going. Greg Boykin pulled down from behind by O'Neill, or he had six. Well, Boykin making up for his uh, fumble recovery that led to Jimmy Allen's touchdown off that fumble. He's been running well. Well, that's Cook in there now that they that they took advantage of, and this guy Boykin is really running well. First down for the 49ers. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Detroit 27, the 49ers 7. We now pause for a word from your local station. Tuesday, the millionaire returns. This is a cashier's check for $1 million, tax-free. The all-new millionaire on the CBS Tuesday night movie. This is CBS. Sunday in a one-hour special, all in the family. The fighters go to California for Christmas, but the heat outside can't match the heat between Gloria and Michael. Sooner or later, they're gonna find out that we're separated. I've been seeing another man. It's a Christmas of surprises in the special, all in the family. Sunday at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Sixty thousand fans here at Pontiac Silverdome, and a few of them getting a little out of hand here in the in the stands below us. It's attracting a fair amount of action, and uh, <laughs> out on the field. Meanwhile, the action is continuing with Freddie Solomon leading the 49ers for the first down on a fine run by Boykin, who now has 55 yards rushing and 10 carries. Solomon, and it's it's caught. Is it complete? <laughs> Somebody got it. And I think it was a 49er it was. That ball was tipped three times, Roman. <laughs> and it was brought down finally by the tight end, Paul Seal. An outstanding effort. Watch this. Solomon sprinting out to his right, tries to drop the ball over the linebacker there, Washington, who's awful tall, and he tips it. And that was a fight for the ball. But Seal comes up with it. Jimmy Allen nearly intercepted. For Detroit, but it was a good effort by Seal to pull it down, and it's first down. The 49ers now at the 12-yard line. Hey, Solomon has really brought these guys alive. He sure has. Play action. Boykin. Oh, he had to one hand that pitch out. He's hit immediately. Fine play by Mike Burns. Safety number 29. A little college option play there by Solomon. Didn't Boykin, work that time. Boykin made a real good one-handed grab, or that could have been real trouble. <laughs> he had to reach up for the pitch out, and Burns was right there to hit him as soon as he brought it down. So that backs him up to the 15-yard uh, line. 49er coaches working overtime on the sideline to get plays into Solomon. New plays, things we, we didn't expect. Second down, it was a loss of about three. So we'll call it second and 13. Slot formation left. Solomon stumbles and he'll stay down. Solomon looked like he was going to come around to the left side on his own. A little bootleg action again, but he stumbled. And so that brings him now back out to the 22 yard line. Tough break for Freddie Solomon there and some hardworking high school cheerleaders. And there, St. Louis, way in front now of Atlanta, 28 to 14, making it a, a difficult day for the 
the Atlanta Falcons who if they could win today they clinch a wild card spot. Now we get another bad exchange there between Solomon and the center. Solomon again covering up on the ball but it does bring up fourth down Charlie Weaver right there on top of him. Solomon. And uh, they'll go for it again. Knutson brings the play in. We're in the final period. A seal hasn't had has hasn't had much action. Tim, maybe we'll get the tight end down the middle on a pattern. The one he caught, I don't think was intended for him. <laughs> it went off several hands before it <laughs> came down and fall seals hands. Made a fine catch. In the meanwhile, problems for the 49ers backing them out over the 20 yard line. Now Solomon just rolling out right and he got back maybe to the line of scrimmage and that was all. Tony Dakin forced him out. Flag down. Looks like it might be on the Lions. Woodcock. Yeah the Lions have indicated it's against them. They're not too uh, happy with that because they were about to get the ball. So the 49ers have another chance. Nick Jorgensen, the referee, marks it off, and here's the call. Woodcock and Newtson of the 49ers will have a little hassle. One ahead, 77, defense, first down. Woodcock called for a little rough play. Personal foul, first down at the 11-yard line, so that keeps the drive alive. Keeps the 49ers driving for a score. 27 to 7. The Lions lead it. 12:33 remaining regulation time. Freddie Solomon is working at quarterback. Still has the ball. Good fake, and Solomon is going to score. Freddie Solomon touchdown. And a real good fake to David Williams. Lions went for him. Solomon shook off one tackler and went in for the score. 55 yards and seven plays, and that penalty sure kept him alive. There's a big block by Seal. Actually, the play going away from him, but Solomon sees a hole to the backside, cuts cuts against the grain, and this can happen so often, with, especially with the defense the way the Lions have. They flow so much to the play. Well, anything can happen. In the Pontiac Silverdome today, Ray Wershing in for the point after try as the 49ers get themselves back into the game with still plenty of time to go. And that's good. They're in this ball game, Tim. So with 12:27 remaining regulation time, the score: the Lions 27 and the 49ers 14. Polaroid's one-step simplest camera in the world. You don't even worry about batteries. Lifetime batteries? No, they don't put a battery in it. It doesn't need one. Of course, it needs one. So far, your camera won't work. The battery's built into the film pack. You get fresh power every time you load. Only Polaroid has it. You get this brilliant color in minutes. Pretty, but I don't see any battery. It's not in the film, it's in the film pack. I don't think you know where it is. Get a one step. For those parents who realize that $600 isn't too much to spend to expand their child's world, Radio Shack has the perfect gift. TRS-80 Computer, the most significant investment a parent can make. Programs for your child's education or your business, finance, and home use. Let your children discover tomorrow's technology today. The TRS-80, the biggest name in little computers. Only at Radio Shack. A Tandy company. A ground level look at the beautiful Silver Dome in Pontiac, Michigan, as Ray Wershing prepares to kick it off. Freddie Solomon having scored for the 49ers to make it 27 to 14. And they just bloop a little soft kickoff that is taken at the 28 yard line. And right on the case is Joe Harris. Let's see who caught the ball. Meanwhile, getting up, that is. Number 86, McGee. Willie McGee made the catch, and uh, it'll be first down at the 29 for Detroit. McGee, a former 49er. Philadelphia now with a commanding lead over the Giants, 20 to 3, and the Eagles playoff hopes enhanced. Frank LeMaster on an eight yard pass interception. Bussey and Gaines are the running backs for the Lions. 27 to 14, they lead. 
Lawrence Gaines hit immediately by Harris. Number 50. Well, this is the kind of thing the Lions offense is going to be faced with. The 49ers have nothing to lose. They're going to blitz. Well, look who's at the game today. It's amazing how that old man gets around, isn't it? Boy, he's everywhere. The he's everywhere. I wonder if he came in from San Francisco. <laughs> Len Thompson into the game at wide receiver. Scott comes out for the Lions. Thompson goes wide left, number 39. Luther Blue, number 89, is wide right. Danielson to Blue. Good pass as he was hit immediately by Danny Buns blitzing. Ricky Odom on the pass coverage. Odom was there just as the ball arrived. That was good coverage. Kept him from getting a first down. Gain of about four. It was second and 12, so it's now third and about eight. Dallas way out in front of the Jets now, 30 to seven in the fourth quarter. Eight yard run by Larry Brinson. For the latest Cowboy touchdown. It's, it's necessary, Tim, for the Lions to get some first downs. Their defense has played too much now in the second half. They were on the field for 13 minutes of the third quarter consecutively. Danielson for David Hill incomplete, and he was hit immediately by number 49, Vern Robertson. Every play, the 49ers coming with the linebackers. Detroit's going to have to be ready for that. We're going to have an interesting finish here. They get the ball back. There is 10.58 to go, lots of time. And uh, Freddie Solomon out there having himself some fun. He's got to be excited and up and willing to try anything. I'll tell you what, in this last game of the season, he's excited the 49ers, and they're trying to come back. Playing well now. The Danny stands at his 17, and Schumann awaiting the punt at the 35. Their defense has played well all afternoon, despite the 27 points on the board. Three of those came from turnovers. One directly, Jimmy Allen, return of a fumble. Spladini, good punt, fair catch signaled by Schumann, who makes it at the 27 yard line of San Francisco. So when we come back, we'll see what uh, Freddie Solomon and Freddie O'Connor, his coach, can come up with here to keep the 49ers on the comeback trail. Ford introduces a new wagon for the American road. The all-new LTD Country Squire for 79. A new wagon with more driver convenience, more handling ease, more window area, and more passenger room than last year's Country Squire. This land is your land. This land is my land. The all-new Ford LTD Country Squire for 79. See it at your Ford dealer now. Used to be when I had a job to do around the house, it was one-on-one. -on -one. Me against the house. And since the house was much bigger, I usually lost. Well, I've just changed all that with my new Black & Decker Workmate. It'll hold just about anything I want to work on, from a door to a pipe to a 200-pound dresser. In fact, my Workmate is so good at helping me work, I'm giving it Sunday off. Workmates available from about $45. See the best in boxing every week on the new look CBS Sports Spectacular starting January 6th. You'll say, you saw it on CBS Sports. Well, I'm looking forward to being with you each week, boxing fans, for that feature on the new look CBS Sports Spectacular. And the show will also include the third annual Hollywood Stunt Competition, Mr. Universe, World Cup Skiing, and much more. The new look CBS Sports Spectacular 1979. And here we are with the new look 49ers. The new look 49ers led by number 88 at quarterback, Freddy Solomon. Hofer and Boykin, the running backs. This is Hofer. Good hole. Look at him go. Hofer still going. What a run by Hofer all the way down to the 32 yard line of Detroit. Pulled down from behind by Bradley. And you got to love that Hofer. He came into the game with 369 yards rushing. Here it is, Tim. A draw play out of the eye formation. Fine blocking up there by the offensive lineman of the 49ers and great running by Hofer. He's got determination. Wasn't going to stop until he got to the goal line. Finally pulled him down. 40 yard gain for Hofer against a tiring Detroit defense. As Roman pointed out, they've been on the field a lot of this second half. Boykin got to the 30-yard line. 
Woodcock stopped them there. The Lions, remember, have lost. Uh, the 49ers today have lost. Steve DeBerg and Scott Bowl, both their quarterbacks. They're starting running back Bobby Farrell. The Lions defense, I think they're still a little puzzled. They're not sure what to expect out of Solomon. And as a result, that's why they've been on the field so long. They haven't been able to stop the 49ers. 49ers wide receiver Jack Steptoe also hurt. We're not sure that uh, that he could come in if he had to, but Schumann has been getting all the work. Boyette is in a tight end. And Solomon is trapped by Weaver. And by Purifoy. Once is enough on that play. <laughs> little bootleg action again there by Solomon, but the door was closed shut. Loss of a yard, third and 11. Ball now at the 34 yard line, but uh, certainly Solomon and company have provided the excitement here in the second half. You know, Tim, if the burger bull was in there, you'd know they were going to throw. But with Solomon, you don't know whether he's going to hand off, run the ball himself. Maybe he'll throw. Boykin and Hofer with him. Deep for Harrison. Intercepted. Jimmy Allen. Jimmy Allen out over the 30-yard line to the 32. So the Lions stop the 49er drive. Solomon really gunned that ball. He threw it well, hard, but the coverage was there, and Allen made the grab. And so the Lions take over, and they still lead 27-14. We could tell you that Pioneer's PL518 probably offers today's best value in a direct drive turntable. We could tell you its tone arm rides on 10 times the conventional number of ball bearings for smoother tracking, or that its direct drive motor all but eliminates wow and flutter. But nothing we tell you will be as convincing as this. Pioneer, we bring it back alive. Hawaii has many faces, all calling to you. Come, paddle my quiet lagoons. Discover my miles of endless beach. Come walk across my volcanoes. Explore my mysterious caverns. Come play in my tropical wonderland. Come, fly my airline to Hawaii. United, we built the largest airline in the free world. Solomon showed he had an arm, Roman. He had him all the way here, but the one mistake he made, which comes from not practicing a quarterback, he looked him, looked at him the whole time, and Allen came over playing his eyes and picked it off, which is what a good free safety is supposed to do. Jimmy Allen, his fifth interception of the season, two big defensive plays for him today, returned to fumble for a touchdown 64 yards earlier. This is Dexter Bussey as the Lions have it, first and 10 from their own 32. Not much running room for Bussy. The 49er defense continues to play well. And there's Jimmy Allen, the man they call Spider-Man here in Detroit. Tim, if the Lions are going to run against the 49ers blitzing linebackers, they're going to have to keep their linemen and go man-to-man -man rather than pulling people or pull a guard and try to split the center uh, or go right up the center's fanny, in other words. But trying to get outside pulling people, the linebackers have angles and they're going to continue to stop them. Gain of three for Bussy, second and seven. Thompson and Blue, the wide receivers. Well, we're getting an audible here. Lawrence Gaines. And he goes nowhere. Met right at the line of scrimmage by Ed Gallagher, number 75. This is a tough situation to be in. You're ahead by 13 points, drawing down to the end of the fourth quarter. You don't want to put the ball in the air. You know the team you're up against is playing a lot of blitz. So you've got to go in there as a quarterback and tell your offensive lineman it's on your shoulders. We have to run to control the ball. You've got to block them. Gain of maybe a yard. It'll be third and six. Jimmy Webb has come back into the defensive front for the 49ers. Linebacker Nichols went out. Danielson under pressure. Oh, oh nice moves. move away. But they've got him. Joe Harris is there, and Danny Buns is there. I'll tell you what, this second half, you can sure give that 49er defense credit for what they're doing out there. Outstanding. They've taken the game away from the Lions, and the Lions now don't know what to do. Ed Gallagher arrived along with the linebacker Harris. 
Well, there's a final Dallas 30, the Jets 7. So Skladini will have to punt. The 49ers get the ball back. We've still got lots of time for things to happen here. Schumann is the lone receiver standing at the 38-yard line of San Francisco. Tim Ryan and Roman Gabriel at the Silver Dome in Pontiac, Michigan. And an entertaining ball game, and thanks mainly to Freddie Solomon of the 49ers. Boy, oh, what a kick by Skladini. Driving Schumann all the way back. He drops it. The ball is still loose. Out of bounds. Off who? The ball was out of bounds. And it was. I think the 49ers control it. Well, Bill Gay touched it last, but he may have been out of bounds when he touched it. Gay for Detroit. It was right at the sideline. So let's see. A 52-yard punt. There is a flag. Back where the ball came down, there is an injured 49er player on the ground. They have had a bunch today. And we'll see what uh, referee Jorgensen rules here. That looks like the wide receiver Mike Schumann who uh, tried to return the punt. Schumann is the injured player. There's the discussion about well, who touched it last before it went out of bounds. But the, the Lions would have had to have control before it went out of bounds, and I don't believe they did. I don't think anybody had control from the time the, the ball went off the Schumann's hands. But still, the 49ers had touched it last as, as the ball coming to them. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. We'll get the official ruling here, and the Lions seem to be uh, debating the point, so I think it's going to be in favor of San Francisco. Meanwhile, Schumann's still down, and uh, we pointed out earlier they've already lost Steptoe. We don't know whether he can come back, but if he can't, then they are now short a wide receiver if Schumann can't continue. You know, here's an interesting... Uh, here it is. Watch Schumann really get unloaded on right there. There he is after the ball. Almost like a soccer game. Well, here comes Gay for it. On the return team, looked like he was already out. Was He's out of bounds. This is a post-possession foul. You go from the end of the where the ball went out of bounds. It's first down, San Francisco. All right, Dick Jorgensen ruling it is San Francisco possession, and the penalty against them gives them first down at their own four-yard line. The tenth penalty against the 49ers, 76 yards in penalties today. Now we have Bruce Threadgill, the fourth quarterback in the game today. Two of them really non-quarterbacks. He's a defensive back, but was also a college quarterback like Solomon. Fred Gill out of his end zone. Left-hander delivers, and it's intercepted by Luther Bradley. It was intended for Solomon. Bradley returning it is finally knocked out at the 19-yard line, and we have had plenty of action here today. <laughs> and I guess that move necessitated by Solomon having to play for Schumann, who got hurt. That's right. Here it is, Threadgill looking to the left, throwing against, trying to split the zone, but Bradley was Johnny on the spot. The 49ers didn't have a back out there to hold Bradley. Bradley does some nifty running here not to get too many yards, and there he's knocked down. Luther Bradley's third interception of the season, and the Lions now in excellent position at the 17-yard line. 6.30 remaining regulation time. Danielson brings them out. They'd like to get another touchdown here because 49ers are scaring them to death. <laughs> if they could get one here, they could breathe a little more comfortably. Lawrence Gaines straight ahead. This 49ers defense has been tenacious all day. Really, the turnovers have hurt them. That's Not right. The defense. Willie McCray made the tackle, number 76, rookie from Troy State, getting some action defensively. Well, I tell you what, though, Tim, the one thing you can see in this 49er ball club is they're they're really playing for O'Connor, even though it's the last game of the year. Here's a final, or here's a score: Cincy 48, Cleveland 16 in the fourth quarter, 13-yard interception by Scott Perry. Second down, about seven. Danielson just got it away, incomplete. Safety blitz. Safety blitz. It was Chuck Christ who got in there and uh, popped him just as he was delivering the ball, and it guided it off line. And so it's third down. That's a tough place to see the safety coming from. Whenever you're 
Here it is, a left formation, which means the tight end is on the left, so it puts Christ, who is on the tight end, coming on the blitz, and Danielson, no way he can see. No way he sees him. Chuck Chris doing the job. Third down. They play here for the Lions. They want to get at least the first. He's got time. It's intended for Blue, and he's inbounds or out of bounds. No, no touchdown. He did not have full possession in the end zone, so it is incomplete. Had the right pattern, a corner pattern to Blue, working on Odom over here. Had him beat, but the ball was a little overthrown. Blue has caught six today for 55 yards. Danielson is now 15 of 28 for 180 yards, having a fine afternoon. Benny Ricardo will come in for the field goal try. Danielson's the holder. They spotted at the 21. He's already hit from 19 and 40 yards today. Ricardo trying for his third. It's good. A 31 yard field goal. The third of the afternoon for Benny Ricardo and the Lions extend their lead with 530 remaining regulation time 30 to 14. When you need to rent a truck for company business or yourself, call Hertz and rent the exact truck you need at a price that can save you money. Hertz has been adding even more new trucks, and that means more reliable trucks, from Econoline vans up to giant tractors. You name it, Hertz rents it. And if you're moving, do it yourself with the easy-to-drive Hertz truck and save. So when you need a Ford or other reliable truck, make Hertz your number one call. There's a location near you. Here's to good friends. Tonight is kind of special. Merry Christmas. Come on. Second, you guys, where do you think you're going? Merry Christmas. So tonight, let it be low and proud. It's been a good year. It sure has. Tonight, tonight. Here's to good friends. Let it be low and proud. Tuesday, the millionaire returns. This is a cashier's check for $1 million. Tax free. The all new millionaire on the CBS Tuesday night movie. 30 to 14, and that uh, could be the final nail in the coffin because uh, while the 49ers uh, were really putting up a battle here in the second half, now it's a real serious uphill climb with 5.30 to go. David Williams, good return out over the 25 yard line. Yeah, the 49ers. Ken Calicut, number 31. 49ers need two touchdowns and a field goal to win now. With that field goal, that really helped the Lions. New Orleans defeated Tampa Bay today, 17 to 10. Tough one, game all the way, that one. One yard pass from Archie Manning to Henry Childs for the winning touchdown. Here's a third quarter score Buffalo 14, Baltimore 7. 39 yard pass Ferguson to Lewis. Final, the Philadelphia Eagles 20, the Giants 3. All right, so the Eagles' playoff hopes are still alive. Fred Gill is the quarterback, number 23. Oh. Intercepted. Oh. Ed O'Neill, intended for Paul Seal, and O'Neill goes out of bounds at the 25-yard line. So young Mr. Fred Gill is two for two, unfortunately, to the opposition. There it is. Tim, I was just getting ready to say, boy, this Fred Gill sets up well and delivers the ball well, but he's delivering it to the wrong color jersey. But that comes from not having any practice time or not playing, too, so it's not necessarily all his fault. Lions have now picked off the last three San Francisco passes, one by Solomon, two by Threadgill, and they have first down at the 25-yard line of San Francisco. Danielson continues at quarterback. Dexter Bussey got a couple pulled down by Bradley, the linebacker 54, and number 78, Archie Reese. Lions offensive lineman having trouble picking up the blitz. 49ers just continue to come and say, hey, we want the football. You got to block us. Second and eight. There's that Philadelphia final. Kane in the ball game at running back for the Lions, replacing Bussey. Philadelphia having won its game can be a wild card 
if either Green Bay or Minnesota lose later today. Danielson intended for David Hill, the tight end incomplete. Chuck Creese playing a fine, uh, covering Hill well there, was right, right on his back. Danielson really had nowhere to go. Eagles are now nine and seven on the season. Going back to that situation, and if Green Bay or Minnesota loses, their record would be eight seven one, and so Philadelphia would get that one of those wild cards. Danielson 15 out of 29 for 180, and most of that coming in the first half. They've shut him off pretty good here in the second half. Third and eight at the 23-yard line of San Francisco. Bussy and Gaines are the running backs. Luther Blue goes to the slot left. Under pressure again, deep for Blue, incomplete. Flags down. Ah, uh, pass interference. Either that or a double chuck at the very least. That's Blue nearly gets... made a great catch over his shoulder there. He just couldn't quite get himself turned all the way around. That was great body control. He made a fine adjustment even getting under the ball. Mistakes have really hurt the 49ers. They haven't played that valley today. Interference, number 42, defense, first down. Odom, interference called, first down at the one. Here it is, Danielson has Blue going to the corner, actually throws the ball back inside, and Blue makes a fine adjustment there. That's a tough call, but of course a good call for the sake of the Lions. First and goal, Detroit. Lawrence Gaines, and look at these 49ers. They will not quit. That was Webb, number 74, blasting through to make the stop for a loss of one, maybe two on the play. And you've got to admire these 49ers, even with all the mistakes today, they have given this a great effort, and uh, particularly the defensive team has really been outstanding. They've really applied the pressure in the second half, Tim. That was the same play the Lions have scored on going to the left side. Now they tried to come back to the right. Didn't work for them. Well, one thing you mentioned earlier is this club is playing for young coach Freddie O'Connor, and I would hope that as a result of uh, the work that he's put in, they give him a chance to go again next year as head coach. I'd agree with you. Play action fake. Hey, Danielson good. tried to get it to the tight end, Gay. It was tipped incomplete. Good thing that was tipped. Gay was there, standing alone in the end zone. Would have been a sure six points. 49ers can look forward to a lot of their outstanding injured players returning for next year. O.J. Simpson, Wilbur Jackson, Ken McAfee, Willie Harper, uh, several more. They've got a lot of good players, and of course, uh, they can expect to have DeBerg and Bull back to them. They've lost in the same game here today. And they found two more today, so they're going to have a That's bushel right. basket of, a bunch of, them of them. returning. Kane in the game at running back, number 32. Bussy is out. This is Luther Blue and around. Good coverage by the 49ers. They stop him at the five yard line. Eddie Lewis, the cornerback. Look at how excited they are. I think that's just impressive. It here, is. here they are, hopelessly out of this game. 30 to 14, 323 remaining. And they're excited. You know, you sort of hit the nail on the head a little while ago. You mentioned the juice with a healthy Simpson and the way this ball club is coming together, apparently. No telling what they can accomplish next year. Simpson had some minor surgery this week on his left knee that he had had major knee surgery on to remove a cyst behind the knee, and uh, apparently he's going to feel a whole lot more comfortable. That had been bothering him this year, and even though it was a shoulder injury that put him on injured reserve, that knee had been bothering him, so he should be ready to go next season. Ricardo's field goal is good. His fourth of the day. And so the Lions, with 2.45 remaining to play, lead comfortably, you might say, 33 to 14. Kathy, what are you doing in the dark? Waiting for Santa. Ho, ho, ho. I wonder what he'll bring me. Well, have you been a good little girl? Person. Good little person. Hey, person. Merry Christmas. Oh, boy, I was dreaming. I never... Make a dream come true this Christmas from Christmas Dreams Diamond Collection 79.
It's time to fall in love again with a beautiful new breed of Mustangs from Ford. Mustang two-door with its striking new aerodynamic line. Mustang three-door with dramatic sports car styling and the spirit to take you where you want to go. And Mustang Gia with the proud look and elegance of a thoroughbred. The beautiful new breed of Mustangs for 79. Capture one for yourself and fall in love again at your Ford dealer now. David Williams, Williams awaiting the kickoff from Skladeni. 33 to 14, Tim Ryan and Roman Gabriel at the Silver Dome at Pontiac, Michigan. Williams running hard up the middle, has room, and now it closes out near the 30-yard line. Boy, he hits that thing going about, a, about 110 mile an hour. He really flies up there. Calicut, number 31, made the tackle. Well, next Sunday, on CBS, we'll have NFC first round playoff action between the two wild card teams. Of course, we don't know who they will be as yet, and who they will be will affect the time of the game. So you'll have to consult your local listings for the game and time in your area. There will only be the one game, of course, but just to find out what time of day it'll take place. Solomon is back in at quarterback. Is Fred Gill at receiver? No, <laughs> although that would be a possible choice. David Williams is out at wide receiver. This is Hofer. Hofer still running. What an effort that guy gives you. Out to the 35-yard line, a gain of about six. Paul Hofer, number 36. I think now we can understand why they call him most inspirational. He